Hi, welcome to Amber's Garden Corner. I'm Amber, and I'm here with my son, John. And I just wanted to show you something real quick. We're picking some more apples. season all the apple trees are starting to come in this is our next batch now when we first moved here this tree was old and gnarly and we had to give it a serious prune back the apples were small and deformed and odd and with a little pruning and tending it has sprung back and we're getting these beautiful apples off of it and they're so tasty well we got the free range area done have a door installed into the area and do the cover run so that they can come out a bit of a rainy day today. Everybody's been molting. Hey girls, go. Well, we're just getting some carrots. <sighs> we got some beautiful carrots here. Okay, let's take a look at our pineapple today. I believe this is week two. And as you can see, we have a ton of roots coming out. There we go. In fact, I'll probably be putting it into the ground very shortly. The roots are doing very well. She's doing good. My rose I uh, planted last week. Got a little shoot coming up. It's doing well. Let's see what else is going on. So we have our apple cider vinegar that we're making. And as you can see, it's doing well. This is the one with the mother. It's got a definite taste towards the vinegar spectrum going on. And I moved it, when I moved it, there was a bunch of bubbles that started coming up. And then we have the apple cider vinegar that we started that was from just the scraps no mother included in that and the mother is you know bacteria and enzymes that <clears throat> so that's go what's going on with our apple cider vinegar and again this is the one that was started with just sugar water this is the one that was started with sugar water and a bit of mother to help the process go along. Actually, I have seen more activity out of this one than I have with this one. However, this one did, like I said, is smelling more fruity, where this one definitely has more of a vinegary scent. And I did notice in the last day, this one has started clouding up a bit, 
which could be the mother developing. And this one uh, actually seems to be um, clearing up. It got a little cloudy and now it's starting to clear up some. So that's what's going on with our apple cider vinegar. Okay, we made it down here into the wood shop. The weather turned pretty bad. So let's see what we got going on in here. Hi! Hi there! Welcome to Marky Mark's Wood Shop. <laughs> I came in to see what we came in to see what you're doing. Well, I'm making the shelves for the RV. And there's four of them, all different uh, lengths. And there's the cedar. And I'm just test fitting the little mahogany dentil strips to it. Looks good. Yeah. I've got a couple that are glued up over there that we can take apart and see finished products. Oh, awesome. Let's do so. Here's another one that I'm working on. So again, it's all I like that mahogany against the cedar more than I thought I would. Yeah, I'm not enamored with it, but that's what we had. So it was kind of, again, bowled down to the limitation of clamps as to what I could put together. I just pop these clamps off. These were a good find last year at Home Depot. I have them. I hope they do it again this holiday season. 15 bucks for a half a dozen of these things. We're That's not a hint, is it, dear? Good deal. <laughs> is that a hint for Christmas present? No, I'm just saying that for our viewers. That's a good deal to look for uh, this holiday season. Because these are Bessie clamps, which are like the best. Perfect for my boxes, too. Uh -huh. Well, while he's playing with clamps. Last clamp. Okay, so this was a sacrificial board that I thought would get a little dead glue on it. So there we go. There's a shelf that's kind of made up. It's a little dusty. I got to cheesecloth it and clean it up. Clean it up a little Sand bit. It up. Yeah, add a little stain, whatnot. But there it is, glued up. So it's ready for the next step for the final finishing. This looks really good, but I like that whole, it kind of reminds me of missionary, or mission kind of style, uh -huh. which you know I like. Yeah. So, there we have it, and this shelf will go on top of the uh, curtain holders, and of course this will, whatever we put in there, hopefully the rail we put around it holds it in while we're going down the road. That's the idea. Oh, so while we're here, can we show them my... My project. And here's my pro project. My niece is uh, pregnant. And I'm making a little mobile for the baby. Actually, we can take the paper off yeah. for the next step to sand the edges nice and pretty. So this is all going to be natural, so. I've got different kinds of woods, and I'll have this, this is actually be up top, and then these ones will hang very so differently from that. That's my project I'm doing. So these were all produced on the scroll saw. Cedar. I think you've got cherry, oak, it looks like walnut, purple heart. All kinds of different woods. Yep. It's just ready for sanding and, and drill the little holes for whatever you decide is going to suspend them. Stacking hearts with love. And 
that's about it for the shelving. Obviously I'm in the middle of producing these shelves. I've got one completed minus final finishing and they're in various stages. The next one uh, needs the ends put on and two more longer ones that uh, need to be put together. So just a matter of having enough clamps. You can never have enough clamps. So, don't forget to subscribe so you can see how these things turn out. Combining our wood shop fun with our RV fun. And hit the like button and leave a comment. And we'll see you again. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.